The next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about our background again. I'm going to go ahead and actually go to a website. I'm going to go to our class website. I'm going to scroll down to an image that will be good for our background. This will be on all our slides here or at least most of them. Now I'm looking for an image that has um, the size, the ratio that sort of matches our background of our slide. So it's a little bit more of a rectangle um, horizontally. So this probably wouldn't be the greatest picture for our background. Pictures like these probably would be. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Open up this picture. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to come down and I can save the image as, but there's also an easier way to do that. I can just actually right click on the picture here, then I can go down to copy link address, go back to my Google Slides, and now I can click on background. Now I can click on a different color if I just want to use a different color for the background, say it like this blue, add the theme, click done, and now my background's just that blue. But instead I'm going to go ahead and use that image that I copied the link address of. So I'm going to click on choose next to image. And it's going to open up a dialog box here. It's going to let me choose by URL. And I could just drag an image here from my desktop. I can go to my Google Drive. I can even take a snapshot with my webcam. But I'm going to go ahead and click on by URL. I'm going to click right click inside this text box here, click paste. There's that link for that picture. It pops up right there. Click select. Now this is very important. I'm going to click add to theme because that will add it to every slide that I make hereafter. Click done. Now an easy quick way to make a more make more slides and make a lot of slides real quick is I click on the slide here, I highlight it in blue, press control D, and it just starts copying the slide over and over and over again. So I can click on the last slide, come up here, click on this slide, press delete, and it deletes those slides. It's pretty easy to get rid of slides as well. The next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to use some of our shapes to create some pictures from scrap. So maybe you want to get an image, but maybe you actually want to just make an image. Like, for example, let's say there's going to be a UFO coming over here. I'm going to click on my shape tool right here. I'm going to click on shapes, come over here and click on my circle one. I'm going to make sort of an oval here. I'm going to come over here, grab another oval, come right over the top of it, just like this. Now let's say for example, you want this shape in front of this one. This is a huge, huge tip here. I can go to Arrange, click on Order, and click on Bring to Front, and now it brings that shape to the front. Or I could just right click on that, go to order again and do the same thing. Now I just sent it back again. That's fine. Now I can highlight both of these just by clicking on this shape and then holding down the shift button and clicking on this shape. So now it selects both of them. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to format this a little bit. So you see I have some different tools up here. These are going to change the color, the fill color of my UFO. Let's make it something that really pops out like this magenta color here. And then I'm going to change the outline color maybe to this blue, and I can change the outline width to maybe something that pops out a little bit more. And I just use my arrow buttons to bring it up. I can also resize it. If, once again, if I hold down the shift button, it keeps the picture in proper proportion. But if I don't hold the shift down or shift button down, it kind of contorts it a little bit. It kind of distorts it. So it's just kind of up to you. You can also use this little note up here to rotate it if you want to. Maybe I will rotate this just a little bit. There you go. There's my little UFO. I can add more details later. That's just a rough picture real quick. Now, let's say I want to animate this UFO coming in over into my picture. The way I want to do that is I'm going to start with my picture and my UFO separated. And if you notice over here in the preview, it's not over there. So what I want to do is now click Control D as I click on this slide. And if you remember, that brings me up another slide there. Now I take my UFO in this one right over here. I'm going to drag this scroll bar over here. I'm going to press Shift so it selects both shapes. And to save me some time so I don't have to keep selecting on both of those, I'm going to go to Arrange. I'm going to go ahead and click on Group. 
Now it makes my little UFO just one shape. So if I click off of it and click back on of it, it clicks on both. It actually selects both those. So now I bring it over. And if you look over in your preview window over here, your little slide window is the little preview. I'm going to bring it over just a little bit. Now I press Control D again, make another slide. Just use my arrow button to bring it over a little bit more. Make another slide. Bring it over a little bit more. Maybe I want to speed it up a little bit. Do keep pacing in mind. That is how fast or how slow things go. Maybe I want to zoom this thing in. Maybe it's going to rocket right into my picture here. Make another slide. And there's my UFO coming in over my wave. So I can click on my first slide. Now I click on just my up and down buttons. I can even go ahead and click on present. And it'll pop up a presentation in full screen here. Now what I'm going to do is just press my down button and I can see that coming in. I can even reverse it so I can see how it kind of looks there. There you go. Press escape. Gets me out of full screen mode. Now I know that I have my UFO coming in off the screen. Now let's say I want to do something like a laser shooting out of this UFO. I come up here to my line tool. So we were talking about our shape tool. You can add text to it. There's my text box. There's I can add another image. We'll talk about that later. But let's say I just want to add a line, maybe a laser line. So I click on this down arrow and you see I got a bunch of different kinds of lines I could use. I'm just going to choose the regular line. Now I'm going to have a laser shooting out of my UFO here. I'm just going to drag this line down. Now again, just like we did with UFO, you can change the width. So I'm going to come down here to maybe a 3 pixel and click here, change the color of it. Now, I'm on my seventh slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control D again. I make another slide. Now what I'm going to do on this next slide is just grow this line out. There you go. Just like that. Come over here, press Control D, make another slide. So I'm already up to slide 9. Click on my line, grow it out a little longer. Now I want the pacing of this laser to shoot really fast. So you notice how much it moves. Make another slide. How much it grows really, really quick. It comes down to the waves. Now I can come up here and just kind of test that. I'll go back up to slide 6. Just use my arrows. See how fast that laser shoots down? There we go. Just like that. Now let's say I want to have some type of explosion right here, but I just don't want to create that using, say, my shape tool. Although it does have some explosions. If I go down to callouts, I got some dialog boxes, some um, different shapes here as well. Let's say I actually want this to look like a, an explosion, like an image that you got from online. So I'm going to come up here. You can actually insert a picture. You just click on insert and you go down to image. You can do that right here, but one of the easier ways that a lot of people don't know about is if I go to over to my tools, if I click on research, it brings up a window here and I can actually come back and make sure you're on Google Images right here, not just everything. I can go ahead and click on images. Now I can type in explosion and it brings up these explosions but watch what happens I'm gonna grab one of these and bring it over here it looks kinda of strange because it has all this background with it it just looks kinda of odd so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that go ahead and click on this and delete that I'm gonna come back over here to my explosions now I'm going to add a few letters to the end of this. PNG. A PNG is basically going to give me an image that does not have a background or a transparent background. Like for example this one right here. Now I'm going to click on this one, drag it on over. And now you see there's no background with this image because I put those three letters PNG behind whatever I was looking for. Now I can actually grow this out so it looks bigger. I'm going to go ahead and click on slide 10, press Control D. Now I'm going to click on this image here, press Shift. And I'm, you can even press Shift Control and it keeps your proportion, keeps it right in place. Make another slide. So I'm on slide 12 now, click on this picture again, Shift Control, makes it bigger. 
one, let's do one more slide. Click on it just one more time. Let's make this one really big. There we go. So it's this UFO attacking these boats. It's kind of odd, but it works. Come back here. here. I'm going to close my research window. Now I just click down using my arrow button. And you see how that explosion grows. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple more advanced tools and how to publish this to the web as a live working animation.